Welcome back to Portrait Drawing Part 3. Here are some tips before you start drawing. Your drawing is not going to look good straight away, so don't give up if you think it looks bad. Give it time and watch how it progresses. To help you understand values, it might be helpful to use a viewfinder. A viewfinder will give you a close-up view to help you see values more clearly. If you want, you can draw out the different shapes in the shadows to help you figure out where the values change. Try to stay focused at this stage. Remember to keep lining things up, even the shapes in the shadows. And don't be afraid to try different styles of drawing. Make your drawing unique to you. This is what will make it stand out from the rest. five values you need to look out for when you're drawing. The values are dark, medium dark, medium light, light and lightest. Knowing this will really help you learn to draw what you see. This might be a good exercise for you to do before you start shading in your drawing. This viewfinder will help you see more clearly some of the values on the model's face. I start by roughly blocking in the different shades, finding the light and dark areas. Using my sponge, I blend the charcoal. I am going to be doing several layers of charcoal to build up the drawing. Try not to focus on detail at this stage. You're just blocking in the different values, so just loosely block it in and build up the drawing.
off with the drawing and realised the eyes were too close together. It would have been ideal if I had noticed this in the line drawing, but it can still be altered at this stage. Part of the process is realising these mistakes and being able to make the adjustments to capture the likeness of the model. Putty rubber or kneader eraser as some people call it is a great tool for drawing in the highlighted areas. It's great for moulding into whatever shape you need to fit the area you are working on. Charcoal is very malleable and can be easily moved around to where you need it to go. This is why it's such a great material to work with. Just keep layering on the charcoal. This can take a bit of time, but it will all be worth it when you see the end results. And that's it for today. Join me soon for part 4 where I will bring the portrait to a finish. <laughs>